What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the Belgium vlog. I'm currently not in Belgium. I am in Copenhagen, Denmark, where it is absolutely freezing. I don't know if you can tell on my hands. I cannot feel them, uh, but let's get right into the Belgium vlog. So one of the first things we actually did in Belgium and something that you got recommended all the time to do on TripAdvisor and all the other websites like Travel Addicts and everything like that is to go visit all the comic walls in Belgium. They're famous for Rin Tin Tin, the comic. If anyone's older than me or my age, you'll probably know about the comic. But basically they're famous for comics and apparently there was like a whole strip of walls that have comics. But like you can see in the video, we couldn't find them and I don't know if we're just idiots, we might just be idiots, but we looked up on Google and went to that place and walked around for like 45 minutes and only found two walls and so I cannot say that I recommend it, although the two walls were pretty cool, but I thought it was going to be kind of like Wynwood walls in Miami where you just kind of walk down, there's like a thousand and it was not like, like that at all, I think it was like a scavenger hunt type of thing, so I cannot recommend it because I didn't didn't find anything maybe I'm just not good at scavenger hunts but it wasn't that amazing I will say we're in Brussels Belgium and we looked up a list of things to do and it said one of the things to do was come look at the comic walls and so we've been walking around for quite a bit trying to find them the only thing that I see is this which is pretty cool but it's the only strip I thought it was gonna be like a whole strip of walls so far just one wall <laughs> So this is the only other wall that we found. We've been walking around for like 45 minutes. Don't blame me if you live here and you know that there is a wall somewhere. I looked, I think there's bad directions on Google, um, but it's pretty cool. I just wish there was a lot more of it. So this is like the main area that they suggest that you go to. It's just a bunch of the buildings all around the square. It's super beautiful here and people hang out and just sit on the floor and there's carriage rides and food and all of that. It's super nice in this area. It's probably my favorite part that we've been to so far. This is my first day here in Brussels, so I just wanted to give a little of my thoughts while I walk around the city. Since some of you guys have said you wanted to see me talk more while I'm scrolling the city. So my first thoughts are that I like the vibe here. It's hard to explain, but it's kind of a fun energy. Although I don't think it is the most beautiful place we've been to. Uh, which is not to say that it is beautiful. I just notice more the energy than I do the buildings, if that makes sense. Uh, the food has been incredible. I haven't tried a Belgian waffle yet, but that is our next stop, so we'll see about that. I just wanted to make a quick clip real quick showing the realities of living in a hostel. This is where you end up in a laundry mat every once in a while <laughs> because you have no clean clothes, but let's go get some food after this. So I just got mine. I just got a strawberry one. This is what it looks like. And then he got the Nutella one, similar, but it has Nutella on it. All right, this is my first try of a Belgian waffle, so let's see. It dances. It's definitely really good. It doesn't taste like an American waffle, I'll say that. What do you think it tastes like? What's a good way to describe it? No idea, it's so different. It tastes nothing like an American waffle. Nothing at all. It's almost like sweeter, if that makes sense. It's really good though. So I will say final verdict. It kind of tastes like a caramelized waffle with strawberries on it. That's kind of what I think is the closest to how I can describe it. It's very, very sweet and like hard almost. It doesn't taste like anything like what you would think a waffle from America tastes like, but it's very, very good. He said it's his favorite thing he's eaten the entire time we've been in Europe, so that's gotta tell you something. One of the things we also got recommended to do was go see Mannequin Piss, and yes, that is literally the name. I did not just make that up, but it's like a little statue from like the 1600s or something, super old, of this, um, not a mannequin, of a statue of this baby, and he's peeing, and it's like part of the culture over there. Like, they make chocolate in the shape of him, they make waffles, they make everything in the shape of him he's like and I'm gonna show a clip of him they dress him up for occasions and so one day we saw him dressed and the next day we saw him naked so I'll show both of those here but I don't really know what the hype is behind him but in Belgium they love mannequin piss and I think he kind of has a funny name it wasn't that crazy honestly if I would have walked by it, I would have been like oh there's 
a baby peeing a statue, you know? Wasn't that crazy? But they love him there. I just figured I'd put that in there because if you look up things to do in Brussels, mannequin piss comes up probably a hundred times. So I had to throw in that little clip of the baby because the people love him there. I like this area better. There is old England. Super cool. It's like the government -y type of buildings. But it's really nice over here. As far as the architecture and buildings and beauty of Belgium, I like I did say in the video, I didn't wasn't that impressed. I have been places that are way, way, way more beautiful. Not that Brussels wasn't beautiful, but my favorite part of Brussels was definitely the like capital side of things with the government buildings, and it was just the I want to say like newer, I guess, side. It, it wasn't new buildings, but it was the newer part. But it was very, very cool. It was a long walk full of just amazing buildings things and things that you were just like whoa that is cool on top of that I really liked all the cobblestone roads in Belgium it really makes it look fancy I guess in the US all our roads are all kind of similar and it kind of takes down from the buildings but I think in Belgium it kind of added to it but I will say as far as beauty not one of my favorite places but as far as food absolutely delicious I had some of the best food I probably had this whole trip in Belgium amazing food Okay, so in the last few clips you saw we did actually visit the Chocolate Museum because Brussels, Belgium, of course, is famous for three things, waffles, beer, and chocolate. And so, of course, we had to tour the Chocolate Museum. And I will say, as far as the Chocolate Museum, it was... I don't want to say a lot down, but a lot down. I've been to other chocolate tours slash museums in South America, Central America that were way better. It had an actual human being walking you around that was funny, entertaining, made the history fun. This chocolate museum here in Brussels is one of those things where you have a little device and you put the device up to a like thing on the wall and it'll start reading automatically off a of script. So like I might touch it and it'll be like, in 1922, 1922 chocolate was sent, was sent over, over by the by Spaniards, Spaniards, blah, 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 blah. But I think that kind of makes it um, more boring. I think it's kind of a lazy way to do things. And personally, I don't really think that technology needs to overtake everything. Like, having a human being walk you around and entertain and, you know, do all those things would have been much better. So as far as the chocolate museum, I cannot say that I recommend it because it wasn't super cheap. I think it was like $10 a person and then all you got to do was walk around with these little things and look at, I don't know, some figurines. It really wasn't all that great, but because the Chocolate Museum is the place where they make fresh chocolate, they're experts in chocolate obviously, I did have to try some of the chocolate so I bought some here so I could try it on camera for you guys. So let's get right into it. So I am a white chocolate person, I know, kill me, all the chocolate lovers are going to hate me out there. I'm actually not a huge chocolate fan, and so when I got chocolates, I decided to get a milk, a white, and a dark, because I had to try all three, of course, of the classic ones. And then, for some reason, they really like Smarties in Belgium, and they put Smarties in everything. So I did get a white chocolate Smarties bar, because they did recommend it everywhere there we go finally focused so smarties and then one of these three so i'm gonna go ahead and just take a bite of each of them give you my thoughts see if it's really worth the hype so before we start i'll show you some close-ups it'll if it'll focus so this is the dark chocolate bar looks pretty good we have the milk chocolate bar, of course, this is the classic. We then have the white chocolate bar. This is definitely gonna be my favorite, I'm already telling you. We do have this Smarties chocolate bar. Okay, so I'm gonna warn, I don't really like dark chocolate, but I feel like a really good best of the world dark chocolate um, should impress me a little bit. So let's take a look, okay? I will say, for dark chocolate, it's not terrible. I've had some dark chocolate that I like literally almost wanted to spit out. So I will say it's edible. Do I want to take another bite? Not really. This is going to the boyfriend fund. He's going to be eating this for sure. Um, but it's good for dark chocolate. So I will say I can see why it has a little bit better of reviews. Okay, milk chocolate time. Hmm. Okay. This one's pretty fire. This one's pretty good. I don't even like chocolate, and this one's pretty good. I'll give the dark chocolate like 
4 out of 10, but that's because it's dark chocolate. Don't come after me, guys. This one I had to give like, like a 7. A 7 out of 10. That's pretty good. And then we'll do the white chocolate, which I already know I'm going to like. But let's see because I've tried a lot of white chocolate, so. It's pretty good, but you know what? So far, I will say... I don't think it's the best chocolate that I've ever had. I think that's a little bit overhyped. I don't know, for being Belgium chocolate, you would expect like amazing chocolate. And I feel like it's kind of on par to some of the other places that I've traveled to that have chocolate, you know? So, mm, I don't really know. Last but not least, the Smarties one. This is an interesting one, but let's see. I'm gonna try and get a Smartie here. I will say, I know my face didn't reflect it, but that was kind of a good combination. I can see why they do that. They do that a lot here. They put Smarties on waffles and chocolate. It's pretty good. I'll give that one like an 8 out of 10. That was pretty fire. Overall though, I will say, like I said, I think a little bit overrated. I still think you should try it because you're in Belgium, but don't expect the best chocolate that you've ever had in your whole life because I personally don't think it adds up to that, but pretty good. Let's keep going with the vlog. I also wanted to mention the beer in Belgium, so I'm going to show a quick clip of me drinking a flight. We did get a flight of 10 different types of beers, which I think was 25 euros, so it really wasn't that bad. It's like two and a half euros of beer or something like that, but I wanted to try all the flavors, the common ones in Belgium, so we ended up getting a flight, and I will say... I was disappointed. I really didn't like them. I think there was one or two that I was really liking and the rest were like uh, or really bad. And also my boyfriend who was traveling with me, he also tried all the beers and he's a big beer person. So even though I'm not a huge beer person, he is and he did not like any of them actually. He said that in America he's found it way better or in Germany for example, he liked them way better. So as far as beer, I know they're famous for it but I cannot really say that I agree with that as, as well as the chocolate like I mentioned before. I think the chocolate and the beer, pretty overrated, but waffles definitely up there. And on top of that, uh, even though English is not an official language there, it's something like 55% of people or something like that, don't take my word for it, but speak English. And the point is a lot of people speak English in Belgium. We didn't have trouble talking to people. We even made some friends. People help us with directions and everything like that. So that was all fun. Overall, this is my Belgium vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am trying to get better at vlogging. Like I said, I am sorry. I am trying to take your suggestions and throw them into the vlog. If you guys have any suggestions for the next vlog, what I can do better in Denmark, since that's where I currently am, let me know down below and like the video, subscribe. We're so close to a thousand. I appreciate all you guys so much. You have no idea. And I'll see you on my next video, all right?